Okay, guys. Big shout out to everybody that loves coconuts, fresh coconuts, with the water inside and the meat, and they eat the meat. Um, what are we going to talk about today? Being positive. As you can see, I'm here on the blue couch. The kids aren't out. Um, I guess it's a little too hot. Big shout out to everybody here in Vegas. This week, would it, or was it last week, it started to get up into the 80s, 90s. And one night I was driving afternoon, evening, I don't know, and it was 100. Excuse me, Vegas, it's still April and it's already 100. It's already hit hundreds in the 90s and it's totally ridiculous. My body's been craving coconuts at least for three or four days now. Just, and I'm glad that the store has them, I'm just saying. Mm. What are we gonna talk about today? Being positive. I've actually started this video four different <laughs> times. Um, and I really started off negative on each each one. I kind of veered off a little bit. And I was like, what am I doing? Positive, I wanna be positive. And I had to check myself. I watched this great video, I would say, um, a couple days ago on another YouTube uh, channel. And it was amazing. And um, the person they were interviewing said, basically, you have to look in the mirror and be the change that you want to be. And actually, that's from like a song, a Michael Jackson song, Look Man in the Mirror, if I'm not mistaken. And I was thinking about a few people that um, she was talking about literally how um, if things that you focus on, what, okay, so things that you focus on will definitely come back to you. And if you're a nasty person or um, not a positive person, what basically, and I've been saying this for a while now, whatever you put out comes right back to you. So the universe knows exactly what you want. <laughs> and so if you put it out there, like um, I used to ask people questions, um, what do you want out of life or what do you want for whatever, right? Whatever subject. And a lot of people start off saying, well, you know what I don't want? Like, for, let me just give you an example. So if I'm talking to a girlfriend of mine, right, that's single, and I'm like, girl, what do you want um, in a man? Or is he, you know, if she's dating somebody? She goes, well, let me tell you what I don't want. And then I have to stop and pause and bring it to uh, my friend's attention. But like, no, I just asked you, what do you want in a man? What do you see in a man? What do you think a good man is? And then they start the conversation off with, let me tell you what I don't want. Let me tell you what I don't like. It's like, but I didn't ask you that. See how we mentally, we just go straight for the negative instead of going for the, po I asked you something positive. What are some positive, um, you know, traits that they have? Uh, what are you looking for? And then the person went straight into what they're not looking for. So you're sending that basically out in the universe. This is what I don't want. So the universe, no problem, I'll bring that right to you. I'm just saying, that's just one example. But, um, I found myself slipping earlier this week being very nasty <laughs> when I go to work I, I'm so ready to go every time because I want to go home and work on other projects and whatnot because this is a great time to um, excuse me and when I say great time please I sometimes when I say stuff people love to they want to come at me they want to argue whatnot not a great time because we're living in very interesting times but I think there's a lot of opportunity out there right now meaning um, to learn different skills a lot of different skills um i tr i breeze through facebook i breeze through instagram and i'm mostly on youtube but um when i do go on there i just see so many people doing great things um teaching themselves different languages which is amazing um teaching themselves how to code uh, get on um computers learn uh different skill sets meaning what does the future look like so me personally i'm not afraid of the future I'm looking towards the future to see how I can prepare myself and you could almost say weather the storm with everything that's going on and this is just my opinion and I love people that have a different opinions for me because we can have great conversations I see everything changing very quickly from day to day meaning from the economy because uh, I think it was a couple weeks ago I was talking about or maybe even a couple weeks before that I was talking about different stores that were gonna um, you know that weren't doing too well and then shortly after that I did the video JC Penney's filed for bankruptcy and then I talked a little bit more about it and then interestingly enough there was another store that kind of came onto my radar which was Macy's I think Macy's in my opinion I don't know we'll see will be another store like a major store that a lot of people from if you live on the West Coast East Coast wherever Midwest I don't know if is there a Macy's in Midwest uh, they will be filing for um, bankruptcy um, it's interesting because I live very close. I live here in Henderson, so I live very close to the mall. And I'm just thinking about, <coughs> excuse me, guys, sorry. 
I'm outside, that's a little bit of allergies. Um, I'm very close to the mall and I'm thinking of all the stores that are in that particular mall over there that probably, <coughs> excuse me, excuse me guys, that won't be returning. And I'm just thinking, and they have a, quite a few anchor stores in there. And then also, um, I was reading a couple reports how they were talking about um, how um, some of the like luxury brands. So we're talking about Neiman Marcus. Uh, what, what is that other one? Dillard's. There's a couple other ones that aren't doing too well and they won't be returning because the way the landscape looks, I mean, in the economy. Now, um, I actually just had somebody jump in my DM and ask me why. I don't really talk about deals anymore, couponing, stuff like that. I think I said in the beginning of the year that I kind of wanted to, um, you know, each channel has like a certain niche, niche, whatever you want to call it, and they focus on one thing. I, I want to focus on various things. And um, one of my main focuses is um, self-preservation, generational wealth, building businesses, and also just looking towards the future so you can prepare yourself. Because I remember when 2008 hit, how it was just so just crazy for everybody and everything that happened, it affected just basically everybody. If you owned a home, if you had a job, if you had children, it was just really very sad time. And in that time, I was actually working at a different grocery store, I left that grocery store 13, 14 years to become a manager at another grocery store, which later uh, faltered and they actually went out of business, they went bankrupt. So it was very interesting times, but I'm glad that I made that transition to see if I can make it in another, like not industry, but another grocery chain as upper, like upper, upper management. It was a very good lesson. So, but with 2008, what happened in 2008, I see coming down the road, something a lot bigger. I think with this, so when the businesses do start to open up, you'll see if you are, basically obsolete and let me let me really touch on that because you have to be very careful with your words uh, I actually had a conversation I think I've already said this in a video about is that we're essential workers I would just like to first say we are all essential all of us I don't care what field you're in everybody a human being is essential I think that was um, in my opinion a very poor taste of um, words by saying basically okay I work at a grocery store so I'm essential but somebody works at a restaurant and they're not essential do they not need to feed their family pay bills uh, contribute to society I'm just I'm just saying their dollar spends just like my dollar spends so I would just like to say I'm essential you're essential your parents are essential your cousins are essential your neighbors are essential everybody's essential but certain businesses in my eyes will not be coming back online i'm talking about a lot of these mom and pop stores and i alluded to this it wasn't last sunday because i skipped sit down sundays because i just was tired or whatever overwhelmed or whatever and um i'm starting to really look and it is i think the 26 27 so it's not quite the first yet i think we have like a couple more days four or five more days till the first and some a lot of not a lot, but some states are going to open up May 1st. I've heard rumors that we're, we possibly might be opening here in Vegas, Nevada, whatever. Um, May May April, May 15th-ish, mid-May. I don't know. But how many businesses have already just basically just just basically lost everything? It's, it's really a domino effect because I'm really looking around. Let me tell you something. So say I'm out of work, right? as a essential person right i work i pay bills i pay my rent in turn that rent goes to the person that owns this apartment building they pay their mortgage they pay their bills you see how that like everything's connected to each other and by a lot of people being out of work and so a lot of people of course you know are getting unemployment but then there some of some of them have not and i'm talking to a few people that can't even get through yet but some have and then what they're paying them, but they're getting paid very well from what I'm hearing. It's, um, and I've heard, I've been listening to um, different YouTube channels, alternative, because you won't hear this on the regular news, how they're not talking about, I'm big on laziness. So um, I'm not saying anybody that's out of work is lazy. That's not what I'm saying. But if I'm presented with, if I work every day, five days a week, 40 hours, and I get paid, I don't know, $1,000, but if I'm being paid to be out of work on top of that, because from what I'm hearing, 
this is what I'm hearing talking to other people that you get paid an extra 600 and I had a conversation with somebody earlier this week and I didn't realize I thought it was just a straight $600 it's $600 a week on top of the unemployment and um, the person I was talking to we were talking and they were talking to another person which um, told them basically that they're receiving comfortably $5,000 a month damn near double what they were getting paid before so basically they're paying them not to not to work of course you know you're out of work you're getting paid but on top of that it's like you're getting an extra check on top of that and I'm just really thinking to myself I'm like wow five thousand dollars a month not to work you know and of course it's not their choice you know with everything that's going on their business wherever they were working was shut down and then of course they were forced and then a lot of people have very good work ethic sorry there was a fly great work ethic to where they want to get back to work and provide for their family they don't want to take money from the government or whatever I don't even know where um, unemployment comes from but actually don't, don't we put into that we as we work we put into that fund I don't know but um, I have to think back I don't think I've ever been unemployed or out of work I don't think I've ever collected unemployment I'm not sure I, I don't recall but um, it's just really we're living in very interesting times and to circle back around what I was saying how someone said well why aren't you focusing on couponing or deals and stuff like that I said you know what when I was big on Twitter when I used to tweet every day my favorite word since probably 2015 16 14 I don't know is adapt adapt is such an important word things are constantly changing the landscape is constantly changing before us something that would maybe take I don't know maybe two months to see down the line so like say for example if a bank was faltering and they weren't doing too well you would us the regular public wouldn't hear about it till like months later after they have defaulted and someone else has came and bought them out and whatnot but now things are just going so fast and I can't even keep up with all the information it just really is very exhausting working and now it's starting to get hot excuse me one moment And you know when it gets hot it just drains you especially here in Vegas because it's a dry heat in the desert it just pulls everything out of you and it drains you and it's just like sometimes you have to step away and I'm not telling anybody what to do but God if I have one more person tell me what they saw on the news stop it I don't even watch the news I actually watch alternative media which is YouTube people that are actually doing interviews and the great thing about that a lot of people that are alternative media meaning YouTube or they have their own website or whatever the case may be they give a lot of facts and what I mean by facts they give facts they tell you they do interviews so like when people tell me well I heard you need to do this 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 but I go to alternative media and I'm watching one of my favorite YouTubers, you know, do an amazing interview, not with the news, but with a doctor that actually, you know, went to school for whatever, whatever, and they have a PhD, and they have this and this, and they have all these different accolades behind them, and they actually know what they're talking about. I'm more inclined to listen to what they're saying, and their knowledge, and their facts, and then, of course, they put links down below. If you want to go ahead, and if you'd like to read or do your own due diligence and you can follow up because I always say don't believe what I'm saying I can you know this is my YouTube channel I can say whatever I want all day long because it's my YouTube channel but just because you see it on social media or even the news that doesn't mean that's true a lot of people give links or like if they're doing an interview of course the person they're interviewing could be fake but obviously if they're giving their name their credentials and stuff like that and links down below to like if they've written books what hospital they're at and or you just whatever or if they're in the banking community or if they um, are in um, uh, the metal sector or if they're uh, if they own a hedge firm or um, just whatever you can actually look up their name and see you know their uh, I was gonna say rap sheet <laughs> just kidding their resume on what they have done what they have written what uh, speeches they've given their views on certain things I'm more inclined to believe them than what I hear on the news because these are um, journalists or whatever you want to call them giving or I was gonna say giving their opinion <laughs> just kidding reading from a script and basically t telling you something that they know nothing about because no offense but if you're a journalist and you're on whatever whatever news 
you're reading from a script, you're reading what they're telling you, but if I'm watching alternative media and someone's talking about, hey, you know, I've had my own company and I'm worth, uh, I don't know, $100 million, and I've been doing this for the last 20 years, I've written these six books, and maybe I've, I've me personally, I've read like three or four of the books, and I'm like very interested. I, like I said, I'm more inclined to believe that person because they actually know what they're talking about versus somebody just reading off of a script. With that being said, adapting, I mean, I just can't even keep up. I'm trying to keep, <laughs> I'm trying to keep up. Like after I finish this video, I think for sit, this is sit down Sundays, I'm actually gonna leave it uh, with probably just one video because there's somewhere I want to go and purchase something actually to the pawn shop. I found something that caught my eye earlier this week and I was, I just should have went ahead and bought it. And actually it was kind of pricey. I actually had to put it on, well actually I could have actually paid cash for it, but I'm gonna put it on layaway because I don't want to tie up all my cash on that one particular item um, but yeah I saw it caught my eye looked at it looked at it they said you want it I said ah. and then I said well maybe I'll find something else and that particular day I think I went to six to seven um, pawn shops looking for certain items and each pawn shop that I went to I did actually find what I was looking for on different scales prices were exuberant they were just really outrageous but I know for a fact that if I want it, I wouldn't be able to find it anywhere else. Well, I would be, but the wait would be a long time. And, um, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. With that being said, I just want everybody to be super healthy. I don't want you to live in fear. I want you to be very positive. Um, if you feel yourself spiraling down in these times, talk to somebody. And actually, I, I, I don't know how people are going to feel about this. Once again, here I am outside. Here I am out in the sunlight. The sun is hitting me from the back. It's a beautiful day. Um, I actually heard an interview today from a doctor and it was really amazing. And he was talking about vitamin D, getting out um, fresh air, how important that is. And I think a lot of people, it's interesting, a lot of people, and I'll leave you with this, a lot of people that are talking about hunkering down, staying inside, not doing this, not doing that. It's amazing how, I'm curious to see how they will not react but when they come out like some people have actually not been out for two months they have not left their home and it's really and I talked a little bit about a video last week um, about being anti in the comment section anti-social how people are going to react to other people because they literally we are human beings we like to enter I love to interact with people I also love my private time but a lot of people we have to interact with people we are carrying new well, most of us, we love people and we need that interaction. We crave it. I know I crave it. But to be locked away for so long and not been outside, you're not interacting, you're not getting fresh air, you're not seeing people, you're not bumping into things, you're not touching things. It's just really, I think it's really creating a very new society. And um, I don't like it, personally. That's just my opinion. I'm allowed to have my opinion. I don't like it. I've been making sure, I haven't actually been jogging for probably about four days, five days, maybe a week because it's been so warm. Even at night it's been warm. But um, get out, even if you have like a park area and there's nobody in the park, get out and do a couple laps just, just so your sanity, you know what I'm saying? If you're locked away somewhere, I don't care where it is. I don't care if you have the biggest house. You need some interaction with people. That's just my opinion. Eh, leave a comment down below if you like. Uh, it is what it is. Um, feel free if you guys have a health food store. <laughs> On a lighter note, get some coconuts. It's a great electrolyte, you guys. I'm just saying, and I remember last time I was on Instagram, I was, big shout out to uh, my friend. She didn't know that inside the coconut, there's white meat inside, and after you finish all the water inside, you can get a spoon and scrape the meat out, and that's a good source of all that good, you know, nutrients and whatnot. And I had to tell her, matter of fact, I probably owe her a couple coconuts. Um, yeah, really great, great, great. I'm so dehydrated, so it's really good that I'm getting some coconut water right now. All right, you guys, I know a little long-winded. I'm all over the place, but that's what I do because that's who I am. But I really want everybody to be healthy and definitely stay safe, but don't live in fear because, boy, let me tell you about fear. Fear is a killer. It, please believe it. Fear is a killer. Um, all right. <laughs> Bye, you guys. And learn how to adapt to things. Don't get so stuck in one way to where you can't adapt to the future and you get left behind. All right. Bye, guys.